In this lesson, we're going to be going through the song Tear Off the Roof by Brandon Lake. The song is in the key of C. Um, easiest way for us to get there. Uh, the way I'm going to play it today is capo on the fifth fret, and we're going to be playing chords in the key of G. So the chords we need for this song, uh, we need the G chord. We need the C chord. We need the D chord. We need the E minor chord. And really, you can use those four chords for majority of the song. There is an additional bridge, um, a bridge three at the very end where we throw in an A minor, which you can do this A minor here. which would probably be the easiest one for this song. Um, you can also do this one. I like to keep that pinky finger locked in on that high E string when I do this one, just because it makes it easier to change back to other chords. Um, and then we need a G over B. So we just get into that G form, pull off the middle finger, strum the bottom five strings. That's your G over B. So for this song, we're gonna go through some picking for that first verse, um, and then we're gonna get into some strumming. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways you can strum this song. So the chords for this song, the ones I'm gonna be putting up on the screen with the lyrics, um, I have those on my Patreon page. So if you want to print these chord charts out, if you want to uh, download them into a PDF, make some notes, make some arrows for your strumming, um, whatever you know, other type of notes you want to take for these songs. Um, you can definitely uh, print them off, you can download them into a PDF. Uh, that's on my Patreon page, which I'll include in the link um, uh, description of this video. So that's what I'm going to be using for the chords on the screen. So for this first verse, um, we're gonna start off with just some, some of that picking that you hear. Um, and also for this song, the original song, it's in the key of C. Uh, I'm gonna bring the capo down to the second fret to play and sing through this because it makes it a little bit easier for me um, to sing through and talk through um, some of these parts. So just remember, you can use the capo to change the key of a song. Um, so if you have a high voice, if you have a low voice, you can just play around with this capo. Uh, maybe even completely take it off to figure out what what fits your voice and what's best for your vocals. So uh, I'm going to play this capo too. So that first verse is going to sound something like this, the picking. So if I'm singing through this, it'll sound like this. Tear off the roof, the king's in the house. Just give me to Jesus, I don't care how. I don't have to wait to get the healing. I got a faith without a ceiling. So tear off the roof, cause the king's in the house. There's power in the press. So that goes right into the chorus. So this picking pattern, you can use it with your, um, like I'm doing, just finger picking, or you can use a um, just a pick. It's a really simple pattern. So I'm getting into my finger picking position. We've got the thumb here assigned to the top three strings. We're gonna, depending on the bass note of the chord, we're gonna be plucking one of those three strings. And then we've got the pointer finger locked in on that third string from the bottom, the uh, G string. And then we've got the middle finger right beneath that locked in on the B string. And then the 
ring finger and the pinky finger I kind of have just stabilizing on that high E string. I can pluck it if I want to, but just for this song, we're just gonna keep it to stabilize my picking. So all we're doing is going bass note. So bass note, pointer finger, middle finger, pointer finger. So if the strings were six, five, four, three, two, one, it would be five, three, two, three. And that's for the C chord. So five, three, two, three. For the G chord, it'd be this up here, the six. Six, three, two, three. For the E minor, it's gonna be the same. Six, three, two, three. And then for the D, it's gonna be four, three, two, three. Um, so that would sound like this. So you're getting, so the C, the G, are, you're, you're doing that pattern, that cycle, two times. So, the D gets it three times, and then you go to that E minor the fourth time. At least for the first two parts of that verse. So, um, it would sound like this. Tear off the roof, the king's in the house. Just get me to Jesus, I don't care how. I don't have to wait to get the healing. I got a faith without a ceiling. Tear off the roof. The king's in the house. There's power in the. So just know that the. Let's see the fourth line. I got a faith without a ceiling. You're going through that picking progression twice for the D and twice for the E minor. So the first two lines, you're doing it three times for the D then you're going one time to the E minor, that, that fourth line, I got a faith without a ceiling. You're doing it twice for each chord. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so that's what the picking would sound like. Again, you can pick those exact strings with a pick if you want to, um, but that's gonna be your first verse. So then once we get into the chorus, uh, the strumming for this, there's a couple of different ways we can strum it. Um, a super easy way is just going to be to go down, up, 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 which is probably the way I would play this. There's power in the presence, power in the blood, power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the presence, power in the blood, power in the name. In the camp of the enemy, there's power in the presence, power in the blood, power in the name of Jesus. So then that would go to verse two. Um, yeah, so you could do that for each, um, just for that, that chorus, and you can do that for the rest of the song. Um, if you wanted to do a more simple one, uh, a little bit more simple, you could do something like this. It would be down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Now you're gonna do that for most of the chords, but some of these chords, like the uh, E minor, there's blood, there's power in the... You're only gonna do part of it. So for those chords, you're just gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up. So the chorus, if we use this strum pattern, um, it's gonna sound like this.
So if I'm singing it, there's power in the press, power in the blood, power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the press, power in the blood, power in the name of Jesus. He has more in the hem of his garment than the camp of the enemy. There's power in the press, power in the blood, power in the Now just that little ending going back into the verse two, it, it, you can just stay on that G chord. I think it goes to a D at some point, but just follow that electric guitar. Do, do. So whatever that electric guitar is doing, you can just sit on that G chord. Um, and then we'll go right into verse two. So verse two, I'm gonna play through it with both strumming, uh, both strumming patterns. I didn't come here to hide in the crowd. I'm pressing through to you, I don't care how Reaching out my hand and getting the I got a faith beyond the bleeding Cause I didn't come here to hide in the crowd There's power in the presence So that, that's the first drum pattern, the second drum pattern is gonna be I didn't come here to hide in the crowd I'm pressing through to you I don't care how Reaching out my hand to get the healing I got a faith beyond the bleeding Cause I didn't come here to hide in the crowd So just note when I'm going through this strumming, it's the timing is going to be faster when you play it in like real time with the recording with you know it on Spotify or YouTube. So I'm just kind of slowing it down a little bit so you can see the the strumming um, and exactly what I'm doing. So um, so yeah, that would be verse two. We already did the chorus. Um, so there's this little interlude uh, turn before the bridge. Um, and it's just going to be coming out of that second chorus. In the name of Jesus. Electric guitar. I forget exactly how that lyric goes, but it's just singing. There's power in the name of Jesus. Something like that. And then, so this goes into, it kind of starts building a little bit. Um, you can do um, that same strum pattern, up, down, up, down, up, down. You can do the second one that I went through for this, uh, these bridges, or you can kind of go into a little bit of more of a building, focusing on those bass notes as we build up these bridges. Because we do bridge one twice, we do bridge two twice, and then there's kind of a bridge three tag. So um, it would sound something like, there is a life changing, grave shaking, Dead raising power in the room Heart healer, hell stealer No ceiling power to tear off the roof Hands aging, hell shaking Dead raising power in the room Heart healer, hell stealer No ceiling power to tear off the roof So that goes right into bridge two I'm going to do the same thing for bridge two as I did bridge one. I'm going to do the up-down strumming the first time through, and then we'll do that second strum pattern the second time through. There is a life-changing, grave-shaking, dead-raising power in the room. Heart healing, hell stealing, no ceiling power to tear off the room. Tear 
so that goes right back into the chorus after that bridge three. Yeah, so let me just, if you wanted to do the bridge, you know, kind of with some of those driving patterns, which is what I would do, I would just do something like, um, I would do the driving patterns just for bridge one, just on that G chord. There is a life changing, grave shaking, dead raising power in the room, heart healer, hell stealer. No ceiling power to tear off the room. Life changing, grave shaking, dead raising power in the room. Heart healer, hell sealer. No ceiling power to tear off the room. Life changing, grave shaking. So then that bridge two, I would go into a little bit more rhythm, uh, strum pattern. So. Yeah, just one one last time going through bridge three because it's got some of those A minors and G over B's in there. So coming out of bridge two. No ceiling power to tear off the room. Tear off the room. Tear off the room. And then that goes through the chorus, I think one more time, maybe twice. So that more or less shows you how you can play this song. Um, so if you, again, if you need the chord charts um, to print them, to download them, they're on my Patreon page. Hope this helps you out. Uh, love you guys, and I'll see you soon.